to the yovak stop bondage to from the yovak because this bondage you will take rebirth you again come here on this planet for rebirth due to this bondage of work so work done by means prisc- what duty prescribe for you do that duty by evenness of your mind and intelligence and make yourself equipoise between this duality or equipoise equipoise between these two phases of coin a species non a species please sir desire in we everything as i told earlier have two phases without two phases nothing will be completed if a man then women there so stand in between two phases make yourself equipoise between these two phases make it self evenness in between these two make yourself steed fast in these two phases and work without this of fruitive result then you will be never bonded with your work and this is the actual karma yoga which is told by sri krishna in verse 47 and is good your work then you will be free then you will be liberally got your rib- liberalization got your bliss got your god yet attend to the your super soul attached to the your super soul so after 47 was in which we attach chapter 4 13 and 14 was where sri krishna doing work without desire of fruity result as told by sri krishna now we coming or i'm coming on next verse of 47 after 47 i would like to come on the 48 directly without escaping as i'm doing so without escaping i am i touch was 48 where sri krishna please to the world's people in name of arjun said be attached in yoga or be steed fast in yoga perform your duty and abandon or renounce all attachment to success and failure non means abandon all attachment if you are receiving success or receiving failure it is does not matter means don't wait for the result result said that i am successful result said that oh i'm a failure so don't attached 
by this success and failure, by these two phases of resultant, be steadfast or evenness between these two, or be equipoise between these two, stabilize equilibrium between these two phases. Then he again added become steadfast in intelligence by which result of work looks same. Therefore, this steadfast of intelligence or mind known as evenness of the mind and this evenness of mind or intelligence is called yoga. Sri Krishna in this slope a word actually a word used a pad used by Sri Krishna the Samatva Yoga, when you go through this 48 verse, you will find that the Karma Yoga, also known as the Samatva Yoga or Evenness Yoga. Here Sri Krishna told that what is the Evenness Yoga? Evenness Yoga nothing but it is a awareness of mind or intelligence or stabilize or steadfast in between two phases or equipoise between two duality. This is the Samatha Yoga. He first time he expressed the, but I told you earlier and used many times evenness of yoga. This is evenness yoga. First time Sri Krishna define here what is the evenness of yoga and it is Sikana name of Karma Yoga. It means steady fast your intelligence. It means evenness of intelligence. You work without wishing the resultant. You work without wishing a fruitive result in, and make your mind steady fast. Steady fast. Make your mind evenness. So if the both are present, the work without fruitive result and evenness of mind or steady fast in mind, then it called steed is called evenness yoga or sikandiyam of Karma Yoga. So see Krishna stabilize what is the evenness of mind. So after that verse 48 I touch I am touching verse 50 skipping two verses in between that is 49 one verse in between these two that is of 49 I am skipping because the similarity of verses as I think as by my knowledge which knowledge given or which knowledge is gracefulness from the God as I understood through my analytical process that the 49 verse 49 not have similarity of this process of karma yoga because I will discuss it but later on on time up when we compare between fruitive deeds and karma yoga or between Evenness Yoga and Fruitive Deeds work. Those, because 49 is a comparison between these two. So, I will take 
to compression so i will discuss it time of compression between fruitive deeds and karma yoga so i skip here and take in the verse 50 it is now sri krishna going to the world's people going a priest sri krishna teaching to the world's people that what is the skillfulness of a work and saying the evenness of mind are equipoised between two phases to duality and work without wish of fruitive result is skillfulness of work of the work so i am going to inter Tate, the verse fifty. That is a man engaged in evenness of intelligence. He reads himself of both good and bad actions, even in this life. So, engaged in the. evenness of intelligence or mind because this yoga of evenness of intelligence is skill fullness perfections of non fruitive actions means what is the skillfulness shri krishna soul or what is the perfection of work is evenness of intelligence stand in middle of two phases without affected by two phases is evenness of intelligence evenness of mind equipoise between two phases to duality he said ki when a person is doing work by this skillfulness work he he reads himself of both good and bad work in this life means his reads of these two things what he did as a bad work what he did as a good work he free from did that two things in this life it means they don't have any bondage of work and become liberal people got liberalizations salvations no bondage to work then no rebirth so he received in this life or he free or he reads of these two things bad and good things in this life shri krishna expressing to the world's people by this was then i'm taking the verse 49 which is just back of that because here is the fruitful deeds is first